All righty, this is myself and Corey Benke. Corey, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hey, Aubrey, what's going on? I'm over here in the gear room at uh, LiveX. Can you hear me? Are you good? Yes, I can hear you. So we are seeing Corey through Great. a WebRTC signal right now, seeing and hearing him through WebRTC. All right. Yep, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I'm in the gear room over here. We're actually on Fios Internet, so we're not connected via anything but, but consumer Internet. We did this on purpose so we can see the remotes. Um, so uh, Dylan's going to actually uh, pan the camera over so you guys can see. If you want to take me full, you can, Aubrey. You can just see, you know, our studio set up. So we have a remote set up over here. Sorry, Walsh. We've got uh, Nick doing some stuff. You know, Dylan's going to come back to me. Oh, good. I just want everybody to know we're on Fios Internet. We're connected over FiOS back to um, back to the studio. So even though it's across the hallway, uh, we're currently on um, uh, FiOS internet. So I want to make sure everybody knows that. And right now we're using WebRTC using vMix. So we're actually using a production bot. Uh, you can go to productionbot.net uh, running vMix, and both of these feeds are coming to the to the to the um, MCR uh, via uh, two different feeds. So I'm going to talk about first. I'm going to talk about um, the differences, you know, a lot of people are kind of confused. Our own content director, Aaron Nagler, who has been using it for like a year, both 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 systems, um, was a little confused. And I realized that people don't understand the differences and, and what you get. So we're going to try to do this explainer demo. So Aubrey, if you want to take the keynote. Um, so we'll take the first keynote. So here is our studio with uh, WebRTC remote contributor. So we're going to talk about two different ways to remote contribute currently using vMix. You can take the next slide. So WebRTC is a video call, so it's a lot like Skype, and it's a lot like uh, Google Hangouts, um, and it's a lot like uh, even Zoom quality. It's a little bit different than Zoom, but WebRTC is, uh, the, we, in, in vMix, you can, we can actually send a link to anyone so they can take their, their laptop. It's easy to get contribution. Anybody can kind of do it. Um, once the link's activated, they see a browser, they see program. It's all set up for them. The way vMix has set up uh, vMix interview, which uses WebRTC, is really actually kind of nice. It's how you're seeing Anna today in the show. Um, so the contributor's webcam, microphone, and speakers are activated. The contributor's feed can be brought into the video switcher like any other input. So let's go to the next slide. So then you have SRT. So SRT is, stands for Secure Reliable Transport, uh, and it is a uh, it is codec agnostic, so it's low latency, just like WebRTC. It's a, you can adjust the latency, which is kind of nice. I'm going to go over like the differences. We ship a device to the contributor's location, uh, typically a production bot in this case, or sometimes a high vision Makito. A broadcast camera connects to the device. We uh, signals transmitted to the location and then brought into a switcher like any other uh, input. Um, it's, a, it's more secure, it's higher quality, but there's a bigger labor, it's more labor intensive. And we can transmit multiple cameras for live switching remotely, which is really exciting because I'm going to go over that, but that's how we did the US Open. And here you can see we did Green Bay training camp. We set up multiple cameras in Green Bay. And then in our New York control room, we were able to bring back the feeds and within one frame latency, switch, encode, audio mix, direct, and get everything going on the other side. So it's really exciting. So I want to go over the different matrices. I have a matrix set up a little bit. This matrix, side by side comparison. So WebRTC, very low latency, sub one second. It's browser based, it's easy to contribute. vMix offers a guest view for the back. So you just need a laptop and that's it. It's designed for video conferencing, speed over quality. Bandwidth used is defined and then made variable based and available. So what that means is it's a peer based solution. So as your bandwidth changes, it variable. So you could have crappier qualities. You'll see that in some of our, if you look at ready take lives from the past, you'll see either the operator was on Wi-Fi, the guest was on Wi-Fi, the guest was on ethernet. Um, if they're on ethernet, it's a lot better or their speed drops in their bandwidth and WebRTC kind of adjusts and gets variable. So then you have uh, SRT. Uh, it's low latency, but you can adjust the latency so that you can get more reliability on the transport side. So it's sub seven seconds, we, uh, sub 0.7 seconds, so sub one seconds still. It's still about a one second delay when you get it all matched up nice. And we're gonna show you that in a second. It requires hardware to encode and decode. It can be broadcast quality. Now here's the hotness, okay? This is what I love about it. I love that it's a satellite or it's, you're doing satellite or fiber over IP, which is really awesome. And the quality can be really nice. I'm gonna show you that in a second. The bandwidth used can be set. 
and you can you can adjust the variables based on your last mile and your first mile but also it has the ability to time sync multiple feeds, which is really nice. So if you send a game feed or you send a, you send a game feed and a POV feed, you can match the cameras within one frame of latency, which is really, really, really nice. So here are the different, um, the, 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 both of them side by side. So now we're gonna do, Aubrey and I are gonna do a, a three box demo so you can kind of see. So right now I'm on WebRTC. So we're gonna go to a three box, okay. So the box in the middle, I hope, is WebRTC and you are hearing my audio over WebRTC, and you're seeing the video on SRT. So Dylan's gonna confirm and give me the thumbs up because I freak out about things like this because I'm a live producer and that's just what I do. Um, I'm like a freak out machine. My entire staff hates me right now, but hey, we're live. Um, here we go. So you're seeing this and I'm just talking right now so you kind of get, you kind of get a sense of what it's like. And, and, and you can see, so Dylan, Dylan's confirming to me that the, the video in the middle is crappier than the video on the right, but you can see a little bit of a delay on the video on the right. Okay, great, that was about a minute. People can see that. I'm gonna wave my hands around. I'm gonna do some like crazy encoding's gonna happen. All right, and then now we're gonna switch over and we're gonna actually, I'm gonna hear myself, which is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna hear myself in a little bit of a delay. So now Aubrey's gonna take the time and we're gonna switch over. And once you see the graphics switched over, you're gonna see SRT in the middle of me and my audio. And then on the right, you'll see WebRTC. So whenever she has the time to do that, and then we'll do the same thing. Cool, so we're gonna switch sides. I'm gonna switch Corey's audio over. And now we've got SRT in the middle and his SRT audio is hot. Okay, and then uh, Dylan, you're gonna confirm that. All right, and then Dylan confirm, I've got better in the middle. There we go. And then once it switches over, Dylan's gonna give me the thumbs up. He's looking at me like, what are you talking about? I didn't know I was part of this. So now I'm gonna give you like a little bit of more encoding. You can see television quality versus WebRTC. Now I am a little bit more delayed on SRT, but again, you can adjust the variable on SRT. And then also, I just want you guys to know, so, so WebRTC was two megabits. So you're looking at two megabit on WebRTC and approximately four megabit on SRT. We did six and then we brought it down to four. So you could see that the quality was a little bit better. You good, Dylan? Okay, good. So uh, he's not looking at me angrily, so I think, uh, I think we're good. Um, you know, Makosi's really busy right now. I don't know what he's doing. But again, I'm talking and I'm just showing you so you can see the demo of like what the difference is. Um, for this demo. Now, we're gonna do a two box and we're gonna show our friends at NBA 2K. We're gonna show NBA 2K. We've got Steam running on a laptop. So Makosi's gonna switch out. You're gonna hopefully hear my voice, but you're gonna see NBA 2K. Then Aubrey's gonna put that in a two box. Yeah, let's go ahead and lose those SRT WebRTs. All right, here's our two box. All right, so here you have this in a two box. You've got SRT on the left. You've got WebRTC on the right. Dylan's gonna confirm that we're actually doing it right once he sees it. Um, the only way I have is the back end in code. And if you have any questions, um, you know, let us know. We, I can see it even how it's a little bit different. You can see the differences. Dylan, you good? Okay, cool. So those are for our friends doing video games. You can see the differences now, again, there's a little bit more latency. I'm hearing myself on the back, so I can hear myself. I, we can always mix minus and get that, get that out of there. Um, but this was just a way for us to do the demo. We're gonna play, do some more uh, playback footage. You can see the differences. And again, any questions you have, uh, please let us know in the comments. So, Aubrey. We can go back to you and I. Wait, let's go ahead and lose the SRT WebRTC hey, it's me. labels. What's up? All right, we've got SRT in the middle still, and we're still listening to Corey on SRT. Great, awesome. So, uh, you know, we have been using. So again, we've used SRT for U.S. Open. So we did eight feeds back to New York, and we use WebRTC to contribute uh, guests. So you can also use SRT to contribute guests. So um, Cheesehead TV. Uh, USGA, um, Ready Take Live, Fubo. We use all of these things depending on the guest contribution and the, the tools that they have and, and how much money you want to spend on your production. You can actually make stuff look better than web conferencing, which is the whole point. 
Right now we're in this world where everybody wants to do just web conferencing to make some stuff happen. And a lot of people don't understand that the quality can really increase with a little bit of technological know-how. So then I would ask, as a viewer at home, uh, WebRTC is an open source protocol. So if I had a company that wanted to make its own, then we could make our own. Is the same with SRT? Yeah. So, so basically what happened was is High Vision and Wowza got together and they came, made SRT an open source platform. And High Vision was the first. Thanks, Dylan's going to fix my camera because it's really bothering me right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Dylan. Uh, so High Vision made <laughs> the first. Thanks, hero. Dylan. Appreciate you. Um, <laughs> can't do that remotely. Um, so, so High Vision was the first. They if came out with the Makito camera, X. You can use softwares to control them remotely. Yep, yep. So High Vision came out with uh, Makitos, and then the NFL Network. So something for everyone to know is that NFL Network all contribute contribution guests. Uh, in the last, I think like 18 months, two years, I might be, I might be wrong on my timeline, but most contribution from NFL Coliseums is using SRT now. Now, the benefit of it again is it can operate over public internet. That's the difference. You don't need MPLS. You don't need um, some dedicated fiber circuit, right? We do have dedicated internet over there, but we don't have to have that in order for SRT to work. Right now, I'm on FiOS, and I'm on, you know, it's a, it's a pretty beefy. It's like 150 up. Um, you need at least four megabytes to get something really nice. Uh, five to 15 is kind of like the money sweetness. So you need some bandwidth to do it. Um, so if you have lower bandwidth, you'd use WebRTC. Awesome. I think we're going to see a lot more of this in the next couple of weeks. This has been great. Thank you for doing this, Corey. Cool. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you setting everything up today. And um, please let us know if you have any questions in the chat.